Hi everybody, I'm Christine. Welcome back to Cabin Creek Homestead. This is my beautiful draft horse. Her name is Pumpkin. She's a spicy pumpkin latte is what she is. And uh, today's video is all about her feet. We rescued her from a kill pen and um, she came to us with one known problem, which was her feet. The other problem I did not know at the time, but we know now because it's glaringly obvious is this spot of cancer on her eyelid. It's gonna be removed by a animal ophthalmologist didn't know that was a thing but today's video is all about her feet and I guess we should talk about Virgil while we're here because this little sweetheart has come a long way we have been working with him and I have a video that I've been compiling over the past several weeks on desensitizing him and getting him to trust us and now he comes up to us all the time asking for pets and snuggles oh oh sorry the attention got off of her for a second I'm so sorry you little diva all right, so I want to show you some footage over the past couple of uh, weeks of her and her feet and getting things worked out with her. We had to have a veterinarian and a farrier come out simultaneously and discuss a treatment plan for her. The veterinarian um, that came to us was stationed out of Stanley, and they no longer serve. They Don't eat my fingers, please. <laughs> it feels so funny. I know, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't have food in my hand. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> this is playful gumming. This is exploratory mouth stuff, not actual biting. <laughs> Hot breath in the ear, that feels great. Over the last couple of weeks, um, we've been really worried about her feet. So we had a veterinarian and a farrier come out simultaneously. We had to do x-rays of her feet because the farrier sometimes does not know how much hoof he has to work with um, when he's getting ready to file away or take away excess. Now a horse's feet is arguably one of the most important parts of the body to maintain and it's not expensive. Some farriers charge $15 a foot and you want like a 16 week rotation. You're going to stay right there because we are in the frame. Okay, Missy? And um, I don't know how a person lets their animal's hooves go so long and, and get so neglected when it is incredibly cheap. Now, it took me a while to find a consistent fare here, so if that was the situation of whoever owned her before this, I can understand. Um, but when it is that cheap and if you do have a farrier, um, there's really no excuse for letting it go so prolonged. Can you just pick a spot? Stand on your mark. Are we good? So, um, her feet had become overgrown and when they get overgrown they start to splay out very very wide and that causes balance problems it causes the coffin bone to grow incorrectly it can also cause a thickening of the hoof wall and it can um, put stress on their ligaments and tendons um, because they have to make up for the incorrect posture that they have so what we have to do now is kind of slowly chip away at that overgrown and splayed out foot so that it gives her ligaments and tendons some time to grow back or revert back to their normal length so that when her feet are now trimmed, it doesn't cause this huge balance problem and they're not stressed out or um, anything like that. They took x-rays and that showed what's called a slipper toe. Slipper toe is when the coffin bone starts to grow this tiny little curve at the beginning of it. And what that does is it grows to help accommodate for um, the weight being misplaced, the hooves growing too long in the back means that she is going to lean forward and lose her balance. So that slipper toe is there um, as, a, as a, I guess, a means of survival for her feet. So the, the first far farrier that we had, he came out twice and he worked on her feet a little at a time. Um, but now that we moved on to the farm and we are further outside of his vicinity, we don't have the same farrier anymore. But the second farrier that we had is very close to us and he's actually our neighbor's farrier. So now we're on their six week rotation schedule where every six weeks when he does their horses, he will do pumpkin's feet as well. And that is just such a comfort knowing that I don't have to learn how to be a farrier because it's no small task. Um, and I have somebody that has the knowledge and know how to handle her uh, feet properly. So he came out and we kind of told him some stuff that was going on and he just got right down to it. I barely whipped the camera out in time to get um, footage of everything that he did. So the first thing he's gonna do obviously is clean it out. He's gonna look at the frog. The frog is this triangular heart-shaped um, piece of meat in the middle of the uh, hoof when you're looking at it upside down. And then he's going to give it that 
perfect horseshoe shape and hers were splayed out. They were wide. They did not look like a U at all. So he just clipped away at it. He worked so quickly. I barely had time to get the camera set up and focus on what he was doing. He's obviously very uh, talented. He has been in this business a long time. He knows exactly what he's doing. He first cleaned out um, the hoof around the frog area and then he started to just trim away at the hoof that was not supposed to be there. Um, so the plan going forward working on her feet is going to be that every six weeks she sees a farrier and he's going to be able to correct the shape of that hoof more and more over time and originally we thought that it was going to take about six months to a year for her to be able to be ridden but it's looking like now it could be maybe just a couple of months because of how quickly this farrier is worth working and that is just so exciting to me. I love the idea of being able to saddle her up and take a little ride around the, the property. This is mainly her retirement home, but she is rideable. She's really well trained, um, so I can't wait to get her under saddle and get me back in the saddle again because it has been many, many years. I'm gonna go and clean out her hooves and I want you to guys come see it and work and uh, be there with me. Good girl. All right, get right up in front of it. This is the most damaged foot right here. And what I'm doing right now is clearing it out. These chickens are pretty excited for what might come out of this hoof, which I gotta say, pretty disgusting. If you ask me. Easy. That is not clean. We've had some muddy days. Good girl. Whoa. Good girl. Give it back again. Good girl. What a good girl. She's so eager. She just lost her balance. This, even though this is the worst hoof, the other hooves hurt pretty bad too. We've had some wet days, and we've tried to keep her in the barn and as dry as possible. Good girl. All right. Come here, Missy. Whoop. This is a hard one for her to lift because it puts weight back on that really hurt foot. Good girl. Come and get in front of it so you can see, Joel. And then what I'm going to do after this is soak it in a bucket of Dawn dish soap with about a half cap full of bleach. She does not have any open wounds, but what it's going to do is make sure if there is any bacteria lingering in a soft spot, it'll kill it. This is the frog. This big V right here. Hers is pretty grody. It's a little soft. Good girl, very good girl. Oh, you're gonna get extra oats after this. Come on, girl. You wanna do this foot first? Give, give. 
Give. Lift it up, baby. You got it. Hold on, Jed. Six and a half hours later. I wasn't able to get to her back feet today. And given her personality, I don't think it's stubbornness. It does seem to be pain related. So I have some butte powder I'm going to give her and see if that can help um, alleviate some of what she's going through because I do need to get in there and clean these feet out. But let's see, just a couple more days and she's ready for her next farrier visit. And he can definitely take a look. But uh, I'm going to leave her tied up and go get her um, soaking bucket ready. All right, so I have my little plastic tub full of Dawn soap. It looks a lot bubblier than it really is just because that's what Dawn does. I'm gonna give her a little rub down so that hopefully she'll stand still. Let me get her curry comb. All right, Missy. She knows the drill. What a good girl. What a good, nope, leave it in there. Stay, leave it in, leave it in. Come on, girl. How are you doing this? <laughs> it's not cold. Put it in. Good girl. Just drop it in. Leave it. Good girl. <laughs> You're such a sweetheart. That's a girl. Good girl. It's just a little soak. Good girl. Back up a little bit. Get the whole picture. Good girl. Back up. Good girl. Good girl. Are you getting tired? I know you are. <laughs> Sorry, baby. More than one minute. We're killing germs. Don't you dump it out. I know what you're doing. I know, you're such a sweet girl. Can we just soak it just a little bit more? That's my girl. I got it. Leave it in, leave it in. Baby! She's got these nice little hair handles to hold her by. No! Well, it's better than nothing. You did good. You tried. That's my girl. I'm proud of you nonetheless. I was telling JoJo just the other day that this is her winter coat, and of course she's nice and shaggy so she can stay warm. But um, it's gonna change when the weather turns warm. And I haven't seen her in her summer coat. So I bet it's very sleek. And it might be even be a lighter color. We shall see. But we've been treating her skin with some antifungals for the rain rot and with a nice, it's almost like a Vaseline consistency. It has tea tree oil in it for all you crunchy essential oil mamas. Um, you know how good it is for their skin, for their feet, for their hair. Oh, bless my soul. What have you got here? <gasps> no. That is not what I think it is. Is that bot eggs? It just looks like dry skin. Let me scrape this clean. Let's put, treat it with medicine. I wish I could clip it and see what in the world. She came to us covered in bot eggs. The bot fly is a really nasty fly. It loves to bury its eggs in the animal's skin. And that's where the larva develops, leaving this big gaping hole. They're very painful to remove. She's been treated orally for worms and those kind of things but she's been also been treated with fly spray, which is difficult because she hates fly spray. She's not a spooky horse, usually, but if one thing makes her go bananas, it's the spray. Baby, 
You're grossing me out. Not a bot though. Hi, Virgie. Virgil. Oh, her hair is already looking so much healthier. This one spot, come over here, Kayla. This spot of hair right here where it's lightly colored, that's all brand new hair. She was bald right here because of rain rot. Um, and we've been treating it and putting some great uh, cream on it. And now that's brand new hair she's got growing in there. Slowly but surely, this girl is getting the life that she deserves. So I'm curious for all you out there watching, have you brought home an animal that was not taken care of before you got it? What condition was it in? What did you have to do? What were the vet bills like? I have heard some stories. Her cream is actually right somewhere. Right, no? Yes it is. Here's her fungisol ointment. All right, let's get in here. See, it's very Vaseline-like. I bet I could mix up some tea tree oil with my own Vaseline if I had to make a medicinal paste. Yeah, you are such a good girl. I love you too, Christine. Oh, thanks, pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is kind of a daily check I go through with her. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything or neglecting anything. Um, it can kind of be easy to maintain your horse's health if you do a little bit every day and if you pay attention. Doesn't mean treating it will be easy, but at least you can catch it quick. Look at this hair. I mean, Pantene, would you like to sp sponsor my horse? How about herbal essences? for me yet. How about it, baby? Good girl! Good girl. She's losing her balance bad. All right, there we go. Good girl. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Oh, what a good girl. Was that tricky? I thought you were losing that balance. Good girl. All right, well, I'm gonna continue to groom her, so that's all for today's video. Thanks for being invested in her progress in the um, healing of her feet. It is uh, a source of life for the horses. So that's all. Thanks for joining in. Bye, guys.